Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something really, really fun. I am doing the review on the Carity palette, and I believe this is their Smoky palette. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Hi, I'm Robin Taylor, and I do makeup tutorials, reviews, and giveaways. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing, and let's get right into the video. So the first thing that I like, you know, bubble wrap. This is pretty much the size of the palette. It's not that... It's not that big, but it's also a medium-sized palette. It's called Carity Beauty, but the company is called Carity with a K. It comes with 21 shades. Overall, it cost me like $32, $35, and I got like a free brush with it. So this is what the palette looks like, and it's not my first time opening it because I really wanted to see the colors yesterday, but this is going to be my first time trying the colors. Now, I'm really excited about this palette because it has like very dark colors, it has shimmer colors, and it also has very bold and neon colors as well. And you don't really see that in the palette. Well, I haven't seen that in the palette. And another thing that I like about this is the fact that when you take this little clear thing off, um, that the names are still on the thing. So, you know, I really appreciate that. This brush feels really nice. I'll say that. And this is the Carity E31 brush. Let me prime my eyelids with concealer first. And I definitely want to do something today that incorporates a red lip. So the easiest thing to do when you're going to incorporate something with red is to go for a very neutral color because red itself is very bold. So I'm going to go into this color and this color is poof and I'm going to use that as a transition color. I've allowed my heart to fall the hard way. I like this brush it applies the eyeshadow really well it's really soft overall i just need to buy more makeup brushes i want to throw my old ones away and this color is kind of like a dark brown and pink mix i don't know what color you would say that and the reason i'm using this color although i want to do like a very like neutral eye so that's going to be like a brown and a cream so I just want to use that so when I put my red lips on, they're not like, where did this red lip come from? So there still is some warmth in my eyes to match my lips. Do that make sense? Now I'm going to go into this brown color right here. And this brown color is in secret. And I'm going to use that color just to add to my transition color and buffer it on up. I really like this brush. It blends so well. This is my new favorite eyeshadow brush, especially for blending. All right, now after that, I'm going to go into this black matte color. And this, the colors are very velvety. They're like very nice and they, they don't seem too powerful. Powdery. I know like some people like powdery eyeshadows, but I like more of like a creamy to powdery eyeshadow And the only reason I'm saying that is because it blends better on my eyelid And it's easier for me to blend because sometimes I'll be struggling So I'm just gonna use a angled brush. I'm gonna do a cut crease today, but not as dramatic So as I'm using this to form it, I'm gonna go back in with the other brush and then blend it out Now, I, I've also learned that when you're blending, just take your time to blend and have patience. Because if not, then your eyeshadow is going to be looking like a rink -a dink eyeshadow. And I was going to do my whole face and then put my eyeshadow on for the review, but I always put my concealer on after I put my eyeshadow on. And the reason I do that is just in case there's any fallout, it'll help to clean it up. But there's no fallout at all, is there? Nope. There's no fallout, so this is really good. And there's barely any fallout on the palette. I feel like this company is underrated. Why don't I hear? The only reason I ordered this is because I saw it on Facebook and I'm like, oh, let me see. And I like doing that. I just buy palettes and then try them. And I really feel like this company is, over, is underrated. I feel like everybody should have this palette. And you really want to take your time with this because you want to make sure that whatever product you're using to create this cut crease is not all over the place. And they were your comfort, but I made my effort. If you're gonna, would you know? 
Okay, so I was gonna go into this color, and this color is natural, but I really wanna use Stargasm. Wow. I really wanna use Stargasm, which is this color right here. It's like natural. Natural is like a very darker cream color, just a tad bit darker than like regular cream. And Stargasm is like the same color, but a little more pink, and it has some glitter and shimmer in it. Some of these colors just look ashy on black people. I'm gonna put some finishing spray on this. I kind of want to do the cream now because I feel like this pink is not going to go really good with the red. So I'm going to go in with All Natural. Just put that on top. I'm going to go in with this flat brush and see if I can just pat it on there. Why do I take the time? Congrats on your new life. All I got was negative. I do like the like formula for the powders. I'm not gonna lie. They're actually pretty good. Alright, now I'm gonna go finish the eyes and I'll be back to do the swatches for you guys. I'm gonna attempt to try to put the Scenti Beauty Stunna Lip Paint. Everyone says it was pretty on me. Let's just wait till it dries. the pain within look how long it has been okay maybe it's growing on me now it's not just this by itself i put like a brownish lipstick on my lip first i'm gonna finish my hair and come back all right so i am back i kind of put like some messy curls in my hair and did the rest of my makeup but i'm gonna do the swatches for you guys i actually do like these colors in the palette Ooh, but they do feel soft you guys so this is the brown i'm brown so you can't really see the brown this is serpent so this is serpent this is b l a U E Cortessin Eclipse. This is A B C. This is Natural. So this is the top first row. And then I'm gonna do the second row on this hand. And this is Vanity. It's like a black shimmery. Oh, I'm using this. One day. This is Greed. This is Menace. This is Yaba. That's a pretty color too. This is Scandal. This is Tasty. Stargasm. This is Radioactive. This is Poof. Again, I'm brown, so you can't really see that color. This is Burlesque. This is PDA. This is Karma. And this is Rude Boy. And that's a really pretty, like, metallic green and gray. And then there's Cougar. And Cougar is just a regular black one. So I really like all these colors. I like how diverse they are and I like the consist consistency of all of the colors. And I also like the fact that they all have really nice names. But I really do like this palette. I Like I said, I feel like this company is underrated. I feel like no one talks about them. I didn't really hear too much about them. They don't have that many reviews out. But I do think this is a nice palette. You know, it's not bad at all. So I'm gonna read the description or whatever this says. This says, this palette containing 21 highly pigmented and blendable shades is perfect for creating dynamic and sultry or sultry smoked out looks with a vast spectrum of colors. Any look is possible used with our frost and matte palettes for even more possibilities. So they do have other palettes. I know they have like a peach palette. I think they have like a glitter palette and this is their smoky palette. I know they have a lot of palettes but I will link everything down below in the description. So just make sure you guys go check that out. I'll also have, you know, the link to this palette down below as well. Shipping wasn't so bad. It took like two weeks to get here and it wasn't that crazy but I had patience so. I was gonna wait anyway. Let me tell you guys my favorite colors. I'm somebody who likes really bright colors. So, I mean, the yellow, yellow and green are my favorite colors. So, I like the yellow one, I like the green one because I mean, this green is hella bold. I don't know, I like all the colors. I think these colors you could use with a lot of looks, so I really like that. But I created like a classic pinup look with this palette. You can create like some fun colors. This is a good palette, because you can create a lot. Smoky or bright or fun or subtle. This is a good palette, so I like this palette. Good job, Carity. 
Also, my boyfriend loves you guys and he trying to act like he don't. But if you guys give this video a thousand likes, I know I'm pushing it, but that's what he said. He said, if you guys get, if, if they give you a thousand likes, then you can do my makeup. I think you, like, girl, please, please, please give this video a thousand likes because I will beat his face. Please give this video a thousand likes so we can and then comment down below what look I should do on his face. Please, like, y'all gotta do this. Y'all gotta. Matter of fact, a thousand likes, I'm gonna include him wearing a wig. Like, I'm not even kidding. He didn't say that part. He, he didn't say that part, but if you guys, a thousand likes and comment down below what look you want me to do for him, then, then I'll do it and then I'll add a wig at the very end. Just make a comment down below, okay? Okay. Tell me now, tell me now. But this is a great palette, especially because it has shimmery colors, matte colors. All of them are creamy. It has some really bright, bold colors and some dark colors and warm and cool colors. This is a palette where you wouldn't really expect all these colors to be in one palette. So this is a palette that I know I would use, you know, if I want to do something super crazy, like do an orange and a yellow eye look sometime. That would be bold. That would be hella bold. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am almost late to work, so I gotta go. But until next time, I will talk to you beauties later. Bye. Which one of us is caving?